Greetings gamers, this is Chris with Wargame Forge, and I am coming at you today with another design campaign. Yes, I have been very prolific with these. I am still stuck at home with recovering from a leg injury I got last year. So I've had some free time on my hands to work on some designs, and this creativity is helping keep my sanity. Holy shit, what's left of it? So what I have in front of you right here is not the actual campaign, but this is the campaign that kind of started what I'm going to show you. This campaign started the whole Mag Hex design, and uh, I launched this January, or no, actually probably at the end of, uh, what did this thing? Let me take a look here. This was definitely, uh, I'd say this, this had to be 2020, early 2021 when I launched this, and um I really did like this. I liked working on this, the creativity of uh, of the magnetic hex tiles and tr uh, the terrain for Battletech. And I, I will say this. I, this was released in 20, 2021. I think this is one of my, probably one of my earliest projects I was working on, probably as far back as 2019. And this was a very successful project, which is what brings me to today. An official large-scale expansion to that and the original one pretty much had the the basic terrain for Battletech but this one I got a little creative just through my experience making and designing uh, full boards that I've been selling through eBay as well as the, the tiles themselves you can get and print your own but I've also been looking through books like the uh, Battletech Tactical Operations Advanced Rulebook, which has a lot of great rules for some interesting uh, terrain. So I've used that for a lot of uh, inspiration. And I'm not going to sit here and show you everything you're going to get in, in this campaign like I did with some previous uh, campaign videos. Because there is just so much. I, I did print out everything to make sure everything is works. And to get some pictures of the final prints. And uh, I have uh, an overflowing... Um, storage bin filled with uh prints so that i'll probably be releasing uh, independent videos or individual videos for each design but i just wanted to run through here real quick and this is the, the campaign page it just describes everything a lot of the standard videos you've seen in the previous so that way you are aware of how everything works the three variations and you're getting a, an example here of the agri mech hanger you know not every mech in the uh, 30 uh, 31st millennium, 31st century is going to be a battlefield mech. We do have some uh, workhorse mechs in. Uh, this is part of the agricultural set that I designed. It's just throwing, like I said, just throwing, the, uh, showing the different variations or different sizes. And now we're getting to the initial offerings. So we got the crops and I actually designed some without the hex. So people that like the, for Alpha Strike, this was perfect for them. And I do have a whole farm set, whole agricultural set, uh, grain silo, barn, or stable, barn. So, all right, I'm not, like I did say, I'm not going to go through each of these. So let's just scroll fast so you can see. Then we got industrial pipeline set. A lot of pieces here. Three, uh, uh, larger three uh, pipelines, so down to a single pipeline going across water. Filtration system, pump house. And then we have for any of the pipelines that are crossing roads and railroads, the water tower. That's that's something that's been around for a while. Um, don't think I've it's not actually been sold for the STL. Large storage, large industrial storage tank. So a lot of these other pieces. If you've seen some of the boards I've printed out and sold, you probably will recognize these. Some basement counters, rough alleyways. So and of course, as always with all of mine. The milestones and we have again one mile uh, a milestone at every five hundred dollars and we have a lot of stuff here a lot of things are really enhanced the look of a hex map board and uh yeah you're, i'm flipping through here giving you the the quick flash of what's uh, going to be available you can take some time here and visit the link which will be in the description below if you're not seeing this on the campaign page itself so a lot of, a lot of, I've been very creative with some of these things here. Now we have up to 5,000, uh, the milestone at the $5,000 mark. And I do have other stuff in the pipeline to work. So if we are, however you want to say, if, if I am, 
If you guys are gracious enough to support me up to $5,000 and beyond, I will continue to do my best to get you more milestones. But I don't want to post anything until I'm happy with the design, and I am always working on designs. But I thought this is a, at an at a acceptable level to get going here. Now, the support tiers are the standard ones, the hex map scale, the true scale with hex base, the true scale without hex base. I got rid of the battle tech one because that one really never maybe got one or two people but it kind of makes it a little simpler at my end but i also say this there is not a variation at every level uh for everything most of the stuff that has a no base a hex base and a hex map scale are in the initial offering set so that was a big a big thing there so this is primarily with the buildings if you choose the if you read here, it's gonna. I'm gonna kind of repeat what it says here. If you choose like the true scale without hex base, but there is no without hex base, then you will get the with hex base. If there's no true scale with hex base, then you will get the hex map scale. Nearly, I think everything in here has a hex map scale. Almost everything has a true scale with a hex base. This campaign is focused more on the hex map scale and the hex terrain tiles. So those are what my focus was, and if I was able to get uh, designs for the different variations, I made sure that you got the designs for those variations. But we shall see. I hope you like what I'm, I have here. If you have, have any questions, please post them in the comments uh, in this section here that's very quite empty. And I will do my very best to get an answer for you. So, and I'm also... Always open to suggestions on stuff you'd like to see, uh, specifically for hex map scale, hex terrain tiles uh, in regards to this campaign. But thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I am Chris, this is Wargame Forge, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.